Hello my friends, it's Danny, and today I'm showing you how to make the most delicious keto and paleo friendly almond flour banana muffins, which can easily be made vegan as well. Now, the base of these banana muffins is made with almond flour, which is a naturally sweet flour, high in protein and healthy fat, and it is a great way to level up your ingredients when you're trying to cut back on refined flours, plus it's super easy to work with. Now, if you can't eat almond flour or you just don't have any on hand, down in the description box below, you will see that I'll link to some other banana muffin recipes that I've shared in the past so you can find something that will work for you. And also keep in mind, if you do not already know, down in that description box, I also share links for food items and kitchen tools that I use throughout the video. So if you have any questions about what I'm working with, you can usually find a link down below. And if not, just leave me a comment and I will do my best to guide you. So the first thing I'm gonna do is preheat my oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And then here I have a 12 cup muffin pan and I'm just going to add some muffin liners. Alternatively, you could also spray this with some cooking spray or just coat them with a little bit of butter and or coconut oil. We just wanna make sure that our muffins don't stick to the pan. Then in a nice big bowl, I'm gonna start by combining two and a half cups of super fine almond flour along with one and a half teaspoons of baking powder and a half a teaspoon of baking soda. That's gonna help the muffins get nice and fluffy. I'll gently toss that together and then set it aside. Then over here in a medium bowl, I'm going to add three super ripe bananas. So you're gonna want anywhere between 12 and 15 ounces of bananas. So you can see that my bananas are nice and brown because remember, the browner the banana, the sweeter the banana is gonna be and the more banana flavor we're gonna get. So I'm gonna break them into bite-sized pieces and then using a fork, I'm just gonna mash the bananas against the side and the bottom of the bowl. You wanna mash them until they're almost smooth but they still have a little bit of texture to them. Just like like this and then into the same bowl goes two pastured eggs now if you wanted to keep this recipe plant-based and you wanted vegan muffins then you could sub in um, flax or chia eggs here all you have to do is take a tablespoon of ground flax or chia seeds combine that with three tablespoons of water whisk it together let it sit on the counter for three to five minutes and you're gonna see that it's gonna thicken up and have almost this gel like texture and then you would just swap that in for the eggs and you would want to make two of those since there's two eggs in the recipe now I've tried this recipe both ways with real eggs and with the plant-based egg substitute they both work really well I would say the biggest difference is is when you're using the chia egg or the flax egg the muffin is a little bit denser but the flavor is all there then you're gonna need three tablespoons of sweetener. Now I'm using a monk fruit and erythritol blend. I really like to use this when I'm baking. It's an anti-inflammatory sweetener that does not affect blood sugar levels like traditional refined sugars. But alternatively, you could also do three tablespoons of maple syrup, three tablespoons of honey, or three tablespoons of coconut sugar. All would work beautifully in this recipe. Then I'll add one teaspoon of vanilla extract and because I forgot to add the salt to the dry ingredients, I'm just gonna toss it in here. Quarter teaspoon of sea salt. I'm gonna mix this all together, get all of the ingredients well combined, and then we're gonna take this wet bowl of ingredients and add it to our dry bowl of ingredients, and then continue mixing until you've got yourself a nice, thick, hearty muffin batter, just like I have here. This is what it's gonna look like. Mm, and it smells delightful. Then I've measured out a half a cup of chocolate chips. And what I like to do is add about three quarters of those into the batter and then I save the rest for topping the muffins. So you just wanna gently fold these into your batter. Now I am using a stevia sweetened chocolate chip simply because I'm trying to keep the sugars in this muffin a little bit lower for all of my keto and paleo friends, but you could use any type of chocolate chip that you like or that you have on hand. And keep in mind, if you're trying to create a vegan muffin here, you're gonna make sure to buy a plant-based chocolate chip. And as I mentioned earlier, I will link some suggestions for you down in the description box below. Okay, then once you have your batter where you want it, your stirrings are all mixed in, grab a quarter cup and scoop up the batter and just add it to your prepared lined muffin cups. And you know, it's better to go a little bit less if you're not sure exactly how much to do. I go about halfway, a little bit more. And then if I have batter left, then you can go back and add a little bit more to the runs. Okay, and then like I said earlier, we're gonna sprinkle a few extra chocolate chips right on top because it's nice to let the eater know what they're about to get into. See some chocolate chips on top of your muffin? You know there's gonna be some chocolate chips inside of your muffin. 
You could even do a slice of banana on top if you want to be really crazy. Okay, I'm gonna pop these in the oven. They bake anywhere between 22 and 25 minutes. You're gonna know that they're ready to go because they're gonna have a beautiful golden brown color over the top and your kitchen is gonna smell like the most delicious banana muffin ever. So remove them, let them cool completely, and then prepare yourself to enjoy a deliciously delightful banana muffin. These muffins are light, they're moist, and they have so much banana flavor. I promise you, this is going to become your new go-to banana muffin recipe. And I'm very excited for you to try them. And when you do, do me a favor, snap a picture and tag me, Instagram, Facebook. Let me see what you're whipping up in your very own clean and delicious kitchen. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Danny Spees, and I'll see you back here next time with some more clean and deliciousness. Cheers! Almond flour banana muffins. Boop! For banana recipes that, I, boop. Okay, so I'm gonna pop these into the muffin. You're gonna have a bite of the most delicious banana almond muffin that you've had in a very long time. I need to say all that again.